In this video, we're going to walk through creating a scheduled cloud flow in Power Automate. A scheduled cloud flow starts at a defined date and time. It requires a frequency definition, and that can be triggered at a specific second, minute, hour, day, week, or month. These are just some examples of scheduled cloud flows that you can figure. Some others could be automating team reminders to submit expense reports or auto backing up of data to designated storage on a regular basis, or in a fun example that we're going to do here, push a weather update to a team's channel. In this specific scenario, every morning at 8 a.m., I want to post the day's weather forecast in a specific channel in Microsoft Teams. So to get started, I'm at make.powerapps.com, select flows on the left-hand menu here, and then at the top, we're going to go to new flow and pick a scheduled cloud flow. So we'll call this weather forecast and I will start it tomorrow and I'm going to do 8 a.m. So this will do whatever time zone you are in based on what is selected here in your environment. And I want this daily. So we've defined our frequency. It tells you at the bottom to confirm this flow will run every day and then you click create. So this is my trigger. My trigger is the recurrence step. And again, it already pulled over that information if I want. If you've made a mistake, you can click edit and then you can come in and edit it. You can also go to show advanced options. So if you wanna select a specific time zone um, and specific things like this, you're more than welcome to. Now we're gonna click next step. And this is where we're gonna bring in our next step. For, for this, we need to get a weather forecast. So let's put in forecast and see what comes up. So there's a number of connectors that will pull weather in, and I'm not saying use this over another, but you'll notice that a lot of these are premium connectors and MSN weather is kind of easy to use out of the box. So I'm going to select get forecast for today. Um, you can use other connectors as well. We're just gonna use MSN for making it easier. There are a couple things that you can do in here, and each of these will kind of give you a little tool tip if you hover over it. So if I hover over location, I can see what my inputs are here, and it's important to get the right input, otherwise your flow is gonna fail. So the location search query is powered by either city, region, state, country, landmark, postal code, or latitude and longitude. I am going to put a postal code in here. So we are gonna type in my number lock is good, 18054. Then you have units, so imperial or metric. And then we're gonna add one more step. So we've defined our recurrence frequency. We have set where we're getting the forecast for. Now we need to pull it all together and put it into Teams. So when I'm searching in the next steps, if I know the name of the action or if I know the step I wanna take, I'll kind of type that in. But if you're not sure, you can always put in like Teams. I know it wants, I want this to be an action within Teams, but I might not be sure what it is. It'll show them all down here. So what I actually want is post a message in chat or channel, which is awesome. So once we select this action from the Teams connector, it's gonna ask us, what do you wanna post as? You can post as a user, you can post as the Flowbot, or Power Virtual Agents if you've configured a chat bot and you wanna launch that here. I'm gonna keep it as Flowbot because that's exactly what I was looking for. And then post in. So my options here are post in a channel in Teams, post in a chat with a Flowbot, or in a group chat. Now for this example, we're putting it in a channel. We want the sales team to be able to log in and check out what the forecast is. So now I select my team. You're gonna see all the teams you have access to view in Teams here select whichever one's appropriate. Once you've selected that, you'll be able to drill down here into the channel. Finally, we're in our message step. So let's say the weather forecast for Green Lane, Pennsylvania is, sadly it's raining, but you know. So on the right hand side, we've got our dynamic content. So this is pulling in data from prior steps in my flow. So in get forecast today, what do we have? Well, day conditions, that's exactly what I want. Um, there's a lot of information. So we could do day conditions, let's grab day summary. Um, and there's a ton of data in here. You can talk about moon phase, the night summary, the UV index. So once you're done all of it, you can hit save. And then we've got our flow created. We've defined the recurrence, we have the forecast details, and we're posting a message in a chat or channel. 
So our final steps are to run flow checker, see if there's any errors or warnings. So this one passes. Um, and then you click test and we're gonna run the test manually. So let's give it a shot. Let's see what it is. We're gonna run the flow and it says that it ran successfully. So let's check out the flow runs page and we can start to see what's going on. Here's our flow. It took very little time, fractions of seconds to do it. Um, and here's what it told me. It's gonna be cloudy, the skies will be cloudy, the high will be 39, which is pretty darn accurate. So I'll post a screenshot in the video so you can see exactly what this looks like. All I have to do now is turn this bad boy on and then my sales team is going to get an update of the weather forecast every single day at 8 a.m. in my local times. That's it, three simple steps to configure a scheduled cloud flow. I hope you have fun playing around with this. Happy flow crafting.